and then I will just take a screenshot of this okay so when I take a screenshot that will be a regular raster file okay I just took a screenshot now I'll go to my documents where I have saved my screenshot just give me a moment so, okay. so she will sit down if you want sit in the chair okay but I don't have a chair you have a chair right here this side you can sit this side okay so okay so now you see there's another circle over here for now you see both of them are looking very similar but this one over here is a vector okay and this one over here is a raster image okay and i will just show you the difference if i will zoom in you will start to see jagged edges right here and these edges are because let me just check yes i'm visible okay so these edges are because this is pixel based these are all pixels okay but this over here is not pixel based it is drawn on the basis of plotting points okay these plotting points are uh, driven by a code which runs in the background so if you ever open an SVG file in notepad you will see all the code that goes behind it so to give you a brief idea I will just take you to my graph table and I will explain it to you there okay so being the nerd I am <laughs> imagine this is what the computer says to the cutting plot okay these are the two axes this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis okay and uh, if I have to ask you to draw something while I'm not looking at it it's very easy if I have a graph paper Okay, so I'll say you say to you that uh, the first point is at zero zero. So zero zero is this location, which is also called the, called the origin. This is the first point. The second point is at one one. So this is the second point. The third point is at two two. This is the third point. Fourth point is at three three. This is just an example. Scalable vector graphics. Scalable vector graphic, and it means that these points which will be converted into a line following the formula or the uh, code that is written in the SVG file will give you a graphic that can be scaled to any size and by that I mean you can shrink it down to the smallest size to fit a, a visiting card or you can scale it up blow it up to the size of a billboard and it will still it says reconnection successful and I'll check if it is the same fact same line or it has there are some issues with the feed yes Jan I am noticing that so I don't know where I left off it says there are some issues with the feed uh, let me just check. These are the two axes. This is okay, the x-axis and this is the y-axis. The axis. So uh, I'll, I'll repeat what, <laughs> what I've said because we lost connection over there. So I was just talking about how you can ask anyone to plot the points and then draw a line according to the plotted points. So similarly, the computer sends the code to the machine, to the cutting plotter, based on the uh, software, sorry, based on the formula that was written in the SVG file. SVG files are scalable vector graphics which means you can scale them down to the size of a visiting card or you can blow them up to a billboard. They will still not lose any quality. But the raster graphics when you scale them up, have you noticed sometimes when you get a file, a photograph and then you try to zoom in and you cannot see it clearly? It's because photographs are raster files, raster images. When you zoom in, they are pixel based. So you cannot just go zooming into them infinitely and still be able to see everything clearly. But SVGs are such that when you zoom them in or like scale them up or bring them down, scale them down, in both cases, you will be able to see the same exact clarity because they're based on the formula. So they're based on the plotted points. So this is when every unit is a centimeter. 
if it is one inch, the entire thing will just be scaled up. It will just be the same graphic, but it will be scaled up. So that is the benefit of using SVG files. And that is why it is used uh, in um, web browsers these days for creating graphics. And uh, for, for like even us crafters are using them a lot. OK? So that is the basic of SVG files. And how the cutting plotter works, I just told you that the plotter actually takes in the instruction from the computer. So when you click the send button, you're actually sending the code to the cutting plotter. So it plots accordingly. So the, the head, it moves. So I'll just go back. The head moves, right? So the first point will be 0, 0. To plot the second point, the machine will move the paper backward sorry, forward, and the head will move right to plot this point. To plot this point, the machine will move forward and the head will move right to plot this point. So it will keep on moving according to the code sent and that is how it draws. So out of all the output devi devices like uh, our screens, the monitors, the speakers, the printers, we also have plotters which draw. So basically, we are using these drawing functions for various other things. You can use a blade to cut. You can use a pen to draw. You can use an etching tool to etch. You can use uh, various other tools in the place of a pen tool to plot the points. That is why these are called cutting plotters or we now call them by different names according to the machines, the companies that we are purchasing them. Okay, I'll just check if there are any issues with the feed. There are eight people watching and I think it must be going fine now. Okay, I'll just check. Okay, so going back to where I started. So it does not matter which uh, cutting plotter you're using. You will still be able to use any SVG file and they all use the same principle of taking the code from the computer and plotting it out. So now coming to what are single line designs. Simple SVGs, I'll just show you on my computer. So I'll take you there to my illustrator screen. So here is where we were talking about how the jagged edges, jagged edges are there for the raster graphics and here for the vector graphic you can just zoom in as much as you want and you will find no jagged edges. So here in comparison, you can see these two. This is a smooth line, whereas this is pixelated. Now, these are the two designs that we're going to compare today. This is a single line file, and this is a cutting file. Now, the thing is, you can use your pen to draw anything. You can use your pen to draw any SVG that is available for crafters. But the thing is that not every thing that you cut using your like if there's a single line file that you get and you want to cut it you will not get consistent desired results because this design when you cut you will be getting I'll, show, I'll be showing you um, I'll just show the paths first these are the paths that will be covered so the cutting plotter will be moving its head like this so these are the pieces which will be cut. Over here you will get this petal, this petal, this petal, you will get the petals and you will get the center circle. But for this one, you will be cutting along the path and you will get a flower in the end if you cut this. Similarly, if you cut this single line design, in the end you will not be able to weed anything. It will just be a spiral cut through, the, like cut through on the paper. But this one if you cut you'll be getting a spiral out because this is a closed path. So single line files can also be open paths and that is why cutting them is not possible. But if you cut them, you'll not be able to use them. And now we are going to use my Cricut Joy. Let me see if you can see. I'll just move to my table again. Okay. So I'll be using some scrap paper okay so I'll be using some scrap paper and what I'll be doing is these are the two attachments which I'll be using today this is the pen and this is the blade attachment okay so I'll just keep them here 
I don't know the protective sheet. I'll put it on. No, I'll do it. Thank you. I'll do it, please. I can do it. Thank you. I can do it. She's the one who helps me with the joy, so she loves this machine. I want to put it. You want to put it? Yes. Okay, so I'll ask you. You come this side. Okay. I'll come. Do you want to use the brayer on it? Yes. Okay, do it. You want to put it? Ah, you can put it. So mm -hmm. I'll just use the brayer on this mat and get it ready. I have another notification. That's a like from Sandy. Thank you, Sandy, for joining in. Okay, so we have eight viewers and if you're watching and you are able to listen to me and I'm, I'm audible and I'm visible, then you just drop in a comment and say that everything is fine so that I know everything is fine. Okay, so we will now move to Cricut Design Space. Are you able to see Cricut Design Space? No, you are not. So let me take you to Cricut Design Space. Here you go. No, you're not able to see it. So let me just check what went wrong. Click at design space. Okay, you're here. So these are the designs that we're going to be using today. And these ones we're going to draw. And these ones we're going to cut. Okay. But for starters, I'm going to draw everything. So we see the difference in both of them. Okay. So this is a single line flower. And this is a cut file okay so this is a sketch file this is a cut file I'm going to resize everything down and just move it in such a way that okay so for for the first one I'm just going to change everything to pen and then I'm going to click make it and I will say on mat and continue. I put it. Wait, wait, I'll ask you. And then I'll move things around a little bit. Okay. Yes. Then we'll click continue. Right? Yes. And that's when it will find my cricket joy, which is connected by a Bluetooth. This one does not need a connector cable. And over here, I'm just going to say medium car stock. It does not matter because it's just going to write you using the black pen. Okay, now it says, note the black pen in clamp. Wait, wait, I'll ask you. Wait, I'll ask you. So, I'll just uh, ask Srishti to put, inside. put the pen inside. So, I'll just take you to my craft machine. And Srishti will now be putting this pen in. Okay, you do it. How old are you, Srishti? Four years old. Four years old. Okay, so it's just dropped in. And then I'm going to close it. Okay, then I'll take you back to the machine. Yes. Sorry, we were on this one. So over here, I'm going to click. Now you have to load the mat into the machine. Wait, wait, wait. I'll take you back to the table. Okay. So here we are. And now Srishti will insert the mat. Straight. And now it will check. So it checked the length of the mat and it checked if the material was there. So now we will go back to our computer screen and there we see the green go button highlighted so that's where I'll put the go button then I'll take you back to the craft table so clicking the go button and I'll take you back to my table so it has got the instruction from the computer to start plotting the points okay so here you will see how when you draw an SVG file intended for cutting 
you will see double lines like you're just watching it drop okay so that's what happens when you are drawing or writing with fonts that are intended for cutting you you get bubble letters drawn everything this one is intended for cutting this one was intended for drawing so you see everything draws okay so you can use any file to draw but I'll also show you what happens when you try to cut all these designs these two are intended for drawing and these two are intended for cutting so for now we take you back to my computer screen and here I'll click unload and this comes right off and here we click done and we are back to this screen over here. I'll take you back to my table. Wait. What are you doing? I'm checking where is the blade. Where is the blade? It's right here. Okay. Don't touch it. I'll give it to you, okay? Okay. And this one, I'm just going to keep aside. And I'm going to take another paper. And I think I should take another color because then we will be able to see the difference. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. So I'll just eyeball six inches. And this is not exactly six inches, but you may do. So I'll just put it over here. Do you want to use the gray around this? Yes. Go ahead and use it. Let me just check. Everything is fine. Feed is only drop dropping intermittently. Everything is fine. Okay, okay. Thank you, Tia. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Janice. Thank you, Jan. Yay, thank you so much for all your comments. I don't know why the, the feed dropped. I hope it does not happen often. What are you trying to do? I need that hairband. Okay, you use the hairband. Nobody can see you, but do you want to sit on the chair and be visible? No. Why not? I'll just get a chair. No, you cannot sit on my lap. I am working now. Okay. Here the chair is. You just move it to your side and sit. It Can is, you do that? It's visible. Chair is visible? Uh, and you sit on the chair, you will also be visible. Sit down. So now, still not visible? Where is Rishti? Where is Rishti? She is right there. Can't see you still. There, there. Still can't see you. <laughs> Still can't see you. Wait, let me do something about it. I'm thirsty. I'm this thirsty. is my hand. Now, now anybody can see me. Okay. Yes. So if you see something in the background, please ignore it. That's my messy craft room. Welcome to my world. Okay. So now, we will be cutting the exact same design, okay? So, Srishti, can you remove the pen and add this? Please remove the pen first. Thank you. Can you put the cap back on? I'll do that. Okay, you give this to me. Can you put the... So now we have the blade in. Okay. <laughs> Janice is saying... Okay, yes, I have a very cute helper. Everybody is saying that you are very cute. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your comments. Okay, so we will, what we will do next is, I'll just move this a little bit, this side. Okay, so now I'll take you back to my computer screen. And over here, I will be 
using the exact same designs to cut this cardstock. Not cardstock. This is a thinner paper. But we'll see. So back to the design space, and I'll click make it on that. Continue. Okay. Next, continue again. It will find my joy, which is. Connected by a Bluetooth, and over here I'll select medium card stop, and it says load black pen and clamp. So that means I have forgotten to change the. I have to select everything and select basic cut, and then click make it. On that, continue. 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 Okay, here we have moved everything. This is lesser than four inches, so I might need to move this one right over here, and this one a little above, like this, and this one right over here, so it fits. Okay, and then we'll click continue. It will find our joy via Bluetooth. That is when I'll select medium cardstock, and it says load the fine point blade in clamp B. Sorry, not B, just the clamp. <laughs> so we we'll, we have already loaded the fine point blade in the clamp, and now we will load the mat into the machine. Wait, wait, wait! I just uh, change. Okay, now you can do that. She is going to insert the mat. Use both your hands. See, this one has to be. Proper, yeah. It has detected the mat. Now we'll check the length and the alignment, and it's okay. Now it's ready. I'll take you back to the screen. <laughs> wait, wait. And over here, I'll press go, and then I'll take you back to the machine. It has taken all the instructions, and now it will start cutting. So it is doing the exact same thing. It's just that instead of the pen, I'm using the blade. And here is when you will see the difference of the normal cut files against the draw files. The sketch files are also called draw files. They can be used for scoring. They can be used for um, using the foil quill. You can use the SVG, the single line foils, files. There we are. I am going to go back to my computer screen and I'll click unload and it is out. I'll click done and we'll go back to the craft table. So I just close this and keep this aside. And here is when we'll compare. So this is a cut file, right? So when I read it out, now you see this is what happens when you try to cut a single line file. You see, this is the spiral that we wanted to cut, but as a single line, it is a single line file. So while it gets drawn perfectly, it cannot be cut because it's still stuck since it's an open path. This one, on the other hand, has been <laughs> yeah, still there. This one is cut perfectly because this is meant to be cutting, meant to be cut. And uh, similarly, for this flower, you can see that this can easily be taken out. There we have it. So 
as a cut file this flower works fine even as a draw file it works fine so you can draw every cut file but you cannot cut every draw file if that makes sense so here's our little experiment for you and the basics of single line files and i've also answered the question that one of our friends asked a day ago in the group if they could use any of the cut files available as draw files the answer is yes you can use any of the cut files as draw files so i hope this session was useful to you and uh, i hope we can do the next session better than this one and thank you for assisting me srishti yes <laughs> and sheesh and thank you to everyone who is here today and uh, it it is i i don't really know that it how it happened but it's it's okay i'm fine it has ended okay so i hope uh, you all are happy i hope uh, it it was a little bit useful to you guys and i hope to see you tomorrow where in we will be doing another live and uh, i'll be introducing a new bundle that uh, will be available at a discounted price but we will also be having a freebie and with that freebie we will be uh, doing a project together with a new crafting idea a new okay so that's all for today you have a wonderful day and uh, if it's night there you have a one like good night i'll see you tomorrow bye bye I have to see that video. Okay.